Let's do this. What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs, Doki Vanax, Sadi X17 here. I am back with more Doki Doki Summer Hope, which is a mod for Doki Doki Loser Club. Last time, sorry, play. MC agreed to meet up with Natsuki and Yuri for the legendary thing. And during that time, Yuri was beginning to act a little into MC, like she had feelings for him. I mean, yeah. But during the club, MC couldn't help but be concerned for Sayuri. Natsuki and Malaga tried to get, try to take his mind off of it, but it was still hard considering MC and Sayuri are best friends and everything. You get what I'm saying, right? Enough of me rambling. Time to dive in, let's do it to it. Let's go. Now normally when you see the text, it's already Sunday. There's a background. But this is a mod. This is one of the first few- This is one of the first mods that came out during the DDLC mod community and everything. But again, you get what I'm saying, right? Anyway, let's go. It's already Sunday. I begin increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. I use the cute language when it's texting while it's texting. It still makes me smile. <laughs> well, that's Natsuki for you. I'm pretty sure she never uttered the words. Cuppy bakes in life in, in real life. What? Cuppy bakes? Okay. Even I, I don't remember how I reacted when I saw that the first time, but you know, I'm surprised that's not been used in other mod sense. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. Let's go. I haven't, I haven't heard a thing from Sayuri since she left the club early the other day. Yeah. I hope she's doing okay. I hope she's feeling better. That's why I just asked. Well, I can seem to be pretty sure she'll be okay. But I can't help but wo worry about the way she was acting. And the thought and the thought prays on my mind until I can no longer stand it. He does go meet Sayuri before Natsuki arrives in, in this mod. Just wasn't sure when I did the first time. Instead of wilding a doubt, I decide to visit Sayuri before Natsuki comes over. Rather than ask it, I simply tell her, I'm coming over. Just like we always used to. They are best friends and everything. Once I reach Sayuri's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that, that we made it a habit simply entering each other's houses like it's nothing. The house is quiet. Sayuri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's in, up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Then again, she's not feeling well. I can hardly blame her. I head up to, to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayuri? <laughs> At least it's good to see Sayuri right now. I sit down in her room. Sayuri forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Very different. She refuses to make eye contact, instead gazing off into some void over my left shoulder. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come out like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayuri's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she has had for years now. Hey, Mr. Cow! I don't think he says I don't think he says that in the main story, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still here. If you came over more often, 
You made me such a mess, though. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you said I wanted to come over today? Are you supposed to be... Aren't you supposed to say Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait! How do you know that? <laughs> Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Oh, Katami! It's all natural for to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. What about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! I'm just having her online. We didn't plan to be up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki, then. Yep! There's more silence between us. Sayuri stares in a red direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. You think? I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sayuri smiles, shaking her head. Her head. That's no good, Sanyx. Eh? Why can't it just be like the toys, Ben? I place my hands on Sayuri's shoulders. What are those are you saying? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sayuri gives me an empty smile. You need to put me in a trap, Sanyx. And... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Sanyx? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... <sighs> I really had bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully, I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I, want, I just want to make everyone happy. And then anyone worried about me. I'm in shock. I even I can't even figure how to respond. How is it possible that Sayuri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? How, Sayuri? <coughs> how could I not have realized? I should have paid so much more attention to you. Because if I knew, I would have done something. Anything. Even if, even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a li little bit harder to make everything a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. I just wish I'd known sooner. <sighs> you don't understand at all, Sanyx. Why do you think I didn't let you find out all this time? Because if you did, then you would have to waste the effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It feels sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bad beat swung against my head. <laughs> Sayuri. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. I think everyone would be happy to get the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too! See you make friends with... Uh, make friends with everyone in the club? See you and 
Let's get, get closer and closer. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. So that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but heart. <laughs> you're right that I don't. Uh, that you're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, said Lex. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it's always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed what you well or a person I am. Tears streaked down Sari's face. Because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you gave you, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayuri's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have, if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll do my best to make these feelings go away. And there's anything that you need to do, need me do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Sadiex. The only time I have not feel that is when I'm feeling pain, but the hearts are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, what about that? It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't! If you did that, then I really would forgive you! But... At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if it being the dark mirror would be very good for me today. Besides, I get the feeling she wants you all to herself. You understand, right? Uh. Uh. Maybe. But it would still be worth it. Worth it to try and get you out of the house. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I promise. Come on, Sonyx. Man. I say goodbye to Sayuri and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. I try to focus on the positives. We are going to have a great time at the festival. I'll get everyone together and we'll all and we'll do and, we, and we'll all do our best to support Sayuri over the coming semester. Yeah! And now Natsuki is covered over. I'm getting I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> I won't lie to myself. 
What started as curiosity, this complicated young woman has turned into a full-blown crush. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A day of possibilities lies before me. I promised myself not to squander it dwelling on the situation earlier. <laughs> MC's Kitchen. I spent only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. I get the kitchen I get the kitchen a quick once over, at least to make it seem a little un less untidy. I even cleaned the dirty old oven tray that I had been sitting there, longer than I care to admit. Oh, he, he take He takes out a tray that was in there. He does he does it before Natsuki comes over. Smart move, MC! Very smart move. Before too long, though, Natsuki texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door to let her in. Stop! Natsuki, wow. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki is something other than her school, school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfair comparison. Just don't let her hear you say cute. Because she gets angry when, you, when someone calls her cute. Jeez! Don't make it, don't make it, feel, don't make it feel so awkward already! <laughs> it's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in! <laughs> That's a lot of stuff! Natsuki is carrying a, a huge bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen is equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. What do we need the women at Robin Sugar for? What? Okay, I don't even know how to respond to that one. Anyway. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them on at home. All a good time, young cat one! <laughs> Star Wars reference! <laughs> good job with the shopping list, though! I'm glad I could count on you! Thanks! I, uh, um, of course! What? No insults? Not even a little jab at me? Could it, be she's a, could it be that she is a little different outside school after all? Anyway, get just this way. Well, well, well. Can I mean, over to take this happy bag for me? Is there anywhere to treat a lady, Sonny X? <laughs> oh, please. I thought you didn't need me to do everything for you. <laughs> I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me anyway. What the hell is in here? Bricks? Lead? Bricks of lead? <laughs> Definitely a lot different from the main story. <laughs> <laughs> I carried it all the way here. Are you impressed? Actually, yes. Damn cool. You're stronger than you look. I always miss you on the rest of me, you don't I? Because you're so butt size. Uh oh. I don't think you should have said that, MC. Ass! <laughs> Natsuki hits a powerful, tiny fist in my chest. Gah! Hey, hey! Do we hate being small that much? Eh? Um. It's not like I hate it. I mean. Sometimes I like proving my people wrong when they only think I'm, all, I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be smart and also bad other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. I mean, that story of what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. What for the way you just speak your mind like that? 
he's not wrong. Hey! Now you all treat me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I'm not all meat, that guy needs like mine or a pack of meat cups like you, it doesn't mean you can treat me like... Uh-oh. Natsuki catches her words, and, and her face turns red. Natsuki! Forget! I am so right there! I'm sorry, Natsuki. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nice, sir. I should have been a little more considerate, too. You think? But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are a ton of guys who are the Teddy girls. Eh? How weird! You know that anyway! Well, let's just say I've acquired appreciation recently. Gross! Hey! You best not be talking about talking to me! Who else? Damn it! <sighs> let's just get started, alright? <laughs> you know, sad when a girl calls you gross! How do you find your weakness, Sonyx? Natsuki smiles deep in sleep. <sighs> oh, please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no need, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally, he's starting to pull things out of the hook bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, three bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn across, uh, uh, strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter, all the batter at once, so we have to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't measure up her, pre her precious bacon. She does this for a reason, MC. Sadex, where did you put the food coloring? The bath going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the bath, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors are different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the, with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all! Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun! I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. We'll find out soon. Meanwhile, I see you se separate the batter into small bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like bacon is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be, to be creative and have the most fun. To me, it sounds more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her catchy cupcakes and Sayuri and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I could make Natsuki proud like that too. Hope so. Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like it's starting to understand. Just make sure you can leave fast mix in the ice before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's good there. We were using the electric mixer for the battle, so I got stuck with a whisk and a bowl, huge bowl for the icing. And... The icing's still all lumpy! Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. We need to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it into her mouth. I 
we actually need to start to do the same. Hey! Uh-oh. We all know where this is going. Masky suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your those fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? <laughs> oh boy. I start to fight back, trying to my trying to edge my finger towards the ball. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Nasky tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in return. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? <laughs> oh boy. There's a big clap of ice on Natsuki's cheek. <laughs> she tries to reach with her tongue, but it's too far away. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. Like Sonic. <laughs> I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. <laughs> now normally when, when this cuts to the CG here, it does not play this music. It still keeps the the, the, the other theme playing. Ah, stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Oh, so forceful! Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that all the time. You do that to me all the time, you know. Say that things just to get a reaction at me? You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. <laughs> I still can't believe he did that. Even in the main game. <laughs> I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth. Lick it off the ice safe. What? Is your scissor just... Uh? Natsuki's so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. <sighs> so yikes! You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls. Unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me? Just like that! How did the moon turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at me, at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? This is it. Now or never. Does it. <laughs> I lean in and kiss her gently on the lips. Yeah. Yeah. I answer her question simply. This is the point where I half expect her to freak out and call me gross again. Or a pervert. Or it hit me really hard. Yeah, that's understandable. But it never comes. She doesn't she doesn't say she doesn't even say a word. She just kisses me back. Oh, This is, this is definitely a change in the mod. Compared to the main story. <laughs> Come on! Off you get! She pushes me off herself with strength, which again, be, be lies to a small frame. If we don't get a move on, we won't have the cupcakes ready for the festival. I would think we would just goof it off all day. <laughs> True. She places the trays 
different color cupcakes into the oven. She sets the timer and then we turn our attention to the icing. We finish, we finish the mixing and pour each color into a different piping bag. I notice now, I notice now that all her equipment is from school. She leans on my shoulder as we wait for the cupcakes to finish baking. Hey Natsuki, you're so good at this. I never thought about doing anything with that. Huh? After you graduate, I mean. You can probably make profession at this. Well, I am a pro. I'm there. No thanks. You're so talented, though. Sonyx, think about it. Baking would be my job then, not my hobby. I can end up with me getting bored of it, or even hating it. Baking is too important to me to let that happen. Don't you have any dreams in the, for the future? Man, what? It's kind of embarrassing, though. Come on. You can tell me. Nah, -uh, no way. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I gently pried her shoulder repeatedly until she snaps. Man, stop it! I'm not telling you, you chuck. Uh, Natsuki, I'm. Not yet, okay? I want to. I really want to. Just, there's things I need to figure out first, about you. What kind of things do you mean? I'll tell you anything you want to know about me. Look, just give me some time, okay? My head's all over the place right now. I wasn't expecting to feel like this. Like what, exactly? A loud ringing from the oven timer announces that, that, that the cupcakes are ready and snatches the answer to that question from my grasp. <sighs> that, was that was definitely something though. <laughs> anyway. Ah, this feels so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm, warm air fills the room. Cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that! I brought decorate stuff! So I hope you, so I hope you can get creative! Here, take these! Natsuki hands me the piping bag from earlier. I have these nozzles that would make it look nice and fluffy. This one gave me make flowers. We probably won't need, probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a bunch of, of dinner tape than the others. That one's really dead, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake, like happy birthday or whatever. Huh. I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literal D by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on what they like. Eh? Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something very really stupid. That's actually... A really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute! Come on! We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't act and dress like... You can't, you can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're freaking adorable. <laughs> Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? You're cute too, now shut up! Let's just do the icing! 
<laughs> oh man. It's <sighs> Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we finally finish, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, I wish I could have one now! But there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Oh uh, yeah, but it'd be bad if I pull if I pull on the load of weight. Really? Yeah, so just be glad it's me that's Sayuri, alright? <laughs> yeah. Sayuri is the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Yeah, that's Sayuri for ya. She's always hungry. Come on! That's just unhealthy! My dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can! Well, anyway... I was hoping we have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner! Ah, uh, already? <laughs> that's a shame. But it's your fault for working so slowly! You should have thought about that! It's not like you always have this chance! Maybe you spend less time trying to get me to do weird stuff with you! Hey! What do you mean by that? <laughs> As usual, Natsuki always places... Natsuki places the blame on me. <sighs> That's just her personality, dude. Just buy the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayuri need to carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. I wish she would listen to me as the way she listens to you! Uh... Yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayuri earlier. I felt so helpless. Sayuri always does listen to me. But at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. Well, I guess I'll be off dead. And thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. And? What you said before about about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to feel it that way at all. I had fun today. And I just don't mean the obvious. You show me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere, looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Because she's best girl. Sunny X! You actually like me! I thought you would just leave me on! I got ahead in my head that you won one day! Yeah. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today! I didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Oh boy. Again. This scene Norman does not play when Natsuki gets, clo gets to M this close to MC. The, the music actually stops when this happens, honestly. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Natsuki! 
Saying inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt, as if holding on to me. Her red colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? <sighs> my head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. So please! Kiss me again! She leans in and my lips meet hers. This kiss is different from before. The playful sweetness from earlier is gone and is replaced with something more urgent and passionate. Neither one of, neither, neither of us wanted to end. We could stay like this forever. Uh oh. Unfortunately, that is interrupted. We all know who it, who it is, though. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori! Eh? Uh oh. Uh, hi, Sanyx! Sayori! I, uh. <laughs> it's okay, Sanyx! I just thought I'd say hi! Ah! Uh, well. You should have come, come here a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before that. Anyway, later! Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off, and Sayuri rapes goodbye. Oh boy. Sayuri! I thought you didn't want to come over today! <laughs> well... I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really... was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see for myself! See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much you were having fun with... How, how much fun you were having with Natsuki? And how close you got to her? It makes me really happy! That you found someone! That's all that matters to me! Tears, tears start to fall down Sari's face. That's all that matters to me! Why are they feeling this way, Sadix? I was supposed to be happy for you! But why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? I hurt so much! Everything hurts so much! This, this would be so much better if I could just disappear! Sayuri, don't do that! It's true, Sadiex! If I wasn't there here, then you wouldn't have written down to waste your sympathy on me! You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish! Marco was wrong! I don't deserve... Monica? Monica was wrong about what? Sayori! What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would, would trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sari looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Sariex. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayuri? I'm scared that... They might like you more than you like me. Sayuri? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much! I did this to myself! Yeah, at this point, Sayuri has feelings for MC. MC, yeah, MC, MC finds out Sayuri has feelings for him. Sadiex! I like you so much that I want to die! That's how I feel! And, and... <laughs> 
That's enough, Sayuri. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I, s I slide my hand down Sayuri's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Even if you don't understand all your all of your own feelings, I know what I know what you need the most right now, and that's why I'm going to give it to you. Usually, you, you give it a choice, but not this time. He says, you'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Maga told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll get things back to the way they were. I... I see... Uh-oh. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Uh, is this what it feels like? To be torn straight in half? I should write a poem about this. Sayori! It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing... You also right that I just, just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Sanyx. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. Sayuri's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Uh oh. Oh, wait. They just mocked the theme suddenly playing. Clutching her head, head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. That scream! That goddamn scream! It's so alien! But but so familiar! Why do I know that scream? It burns through my brain like thousands of hot knives! And normally you don't see that text this way until Act 2. Over and over! Stabbing and stabbing! I didn't realize at the time, but I know who's actually in control. He did, who's doing this right now. Who has that text? Rending, tearing my very existence apart! Make a stop, 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 make a stop! Sayuri again. Sayuri looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayuri! I'm left helplessly staying in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? I haven't done anything wrong. She can't hold the way I feel about Natsuki the Ransom. More than that. The most I can do is support Sayuri through her feelings and get her the help she needs. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayuri's feelings as she is. Maybe seeing everyone at the festival will help. The cup the company of my friends always helps me when I'm feeling blue. Perhaps after tomorrow, I'll see if I can get her to see a doctor. <sighs> after tomorrow. Yeah. So you will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. 
We'll get this under control. Sleep doesn't come easy for me to easily tonight. I lie there tossing and turning. The day it's events playing over in my mind. Finding out about Sayuri's condition. An amazing day with Natsuki. One where we took a step towards being more than friends. And then ha have to end on such a sour, discordant note. Does Sayuri feel that way? How long for? As I ponder these feelings, sleep finally takes me. Hmm? Just marketing playing again. Right up, it's sweat soaked. My alarm clock displays the time brightly and proudly. 4 a.m. What the hell? What the hell? What was that? What did I just see? Sayori? Oh god. Oh god. Sayori! My body moves on its own. Motivated by panic in a singular purpose. Without thinking, I draw on the first clothes that come to hand. And head out into the nights towards Sayuri's. Sprinting and panting, tears and sweat mix as they stream down my face. Please be okay! Please be okay! My muscles burn with each step. My pace slows as I tr as try as I might to keep up. I take suck sucking gulps of air, my body failing to match my mind's fe fever. Well, I do like the background though, how it be at night and everything. I actually do like that. Gasping exponents into the night air, I show I'm slow to a crawl by the time I reach my destination. What am I doing here? That was just a dream, right? It was more than that, dude. There's no way any of that was real. So what made me run all the way here like my life depending on it? Like her life depending on it? What? Am I some kind of prophet now? I half chuckled to myself. Sure that I'm just jumping at shadows. It was a pretty vivid dream, though. You think? I revisualized it and immediately shrugged regretfully. It's nothing. Just a nightmare. I say that. I say it to myself out loud to make myself believe it. I'm just about to turn back when a figure approaches out of the darkness. Hmm? Monica. Well, that's why she appears too. I think Monica knows something's not right. Remember what she said when she, when she was talking to MC and everything at the club and every, and all that. She suspected something's not right. Is that it? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What is Shane doing here? 
I could ask you the same question. I'm checking out a hunch. If you're here, if you're somehow okay, come to the same conclusion. She knows. She knows something's not right. And it's unfortunately. We really didn't get inside that house. Did she see it too? The dream that I had? Was it really just a dream after all? I had a nightmare. I saw Sayori. She was... She was... My voice wavers as I suppressed the urge to vomit. So that's it, huh? How troublesome. We don't, we don't have time to talk about that now, though. She slides a bobby pin out of her hair and pulls a screwdriver out of her purse. Death, deftly, she goes to work in the lo on the lock of Sayuri's front door. How she managed to have a screwdriver and, and, a, and a bobby pin? I mean, I could have said the bobby pin, but how did she have a screwdriver to begin with? However, things don't seem to be going to, to plan. Ugh, that pose. This is the first, as far as I know, this is the first of the poses that she does that are not canon. But then again, it is a mod after all. But like I said, when you do that pose, it's like you're high setting. Just saying. Uh, why isn't this working? I should be able to. She jiggles the lock again. Become increasingly frustrated. She eventually throws down her tools and slams herself against the door. Ow! Damn it! Let me help. On three. One, two, three! As we strike the door simultaneously, the lock buckles and the door swings open. We both stumble across the threshold as we fight against the moment momentum we built up. Stopping for a moment to write to write ourselves, we proceed into the unlit house. Our forced entry doesn't see not seem to raise any alarm. <sighs> for good reason though. Show if Sayori was in. She would have heard that. Even she, even she isn't that heavy of a sleeper, surely. Thought redoubles my sense of urgency and I quickly ascend the stairs, mark on a toe. As we reach the landing, Sayori's bedroom is do door is clean to see. A halo of light reaches out from the cracks of the door. <sighs> Pain grabs me as I grip the handle. Please be okay! I gently open the door. Sayori! <gasps> Still alive in here. It took a moment to register who I was seeing before me. Best friend, hanging from a noose. Eyes wide with terror, clawing at her throat, tearing gouges from her neck, blood covering her fingers. Oh God, Sayori! We're not too late. Grab your legs and, and take the weight of her neck. I'll get the noose off! Go! I positioned myself underneath Sayuri with a leg over each shoulder and lift her up. She immediately takes... She immediately takes huge, repressing breaths of air, wheezing and coughing as she does so. She holds on to me, the blood from her fingers soaking into my shirt. Monica reaches up and slips the noose from around Sayori's throat and off, to her, off over her head. Sayori climbs down from her shoulders into Monica's outstretched arms. Still, we do like that CG though. Monica! Shh! Okay now. 
now. I don't... I don't want to die. I don't want to die. She repeats that phrase over and over. Her eyes wide and unfocused. Trembling as Monica tied to embrace. I won't let you. Not this time. I promised. I know what she means by this time. We all know what she means by this time. I don't want to die. Monica's words don't seem to reach her at all. Monica doesn't seem to care though. Smiling through her teal tears have haven't saved a friend's life. I'm not smiling though. I repeatedly ask myself, why would Sayuri do this? What push her this far? Why something this extreme? No matter how hard I try to rationalize the things, I always come to the same conclusion. One thing, one that makes me sick to my stomach. Oh man, a cliffhanger? <laughs> I hate those. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions. Want to see more of my content? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single video or you can check out another video as you see on the screen. See ya! Seriously, Monica?